On today's video, we're gonna share two new apps that work with Figma and allow you to become a more powerful, valuable full stack designer. Stay tuned. Hey friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we're talking about design. And today I wanna to talk about two new apps, but before we dive into the apps themselves, I wanna share why I'm actually so excited about this. If you'll go back and see when I started this channel like four or five years ago, the first video on this channel is called the Full Stack Designer Manifesto, where I'm basically stating that my thesis is, is that if you as a designer will develop more skills and more tools that will allow you to become kind of full stack, you'll be able to solve more of the client's problem and then you'll become more valuable, you'll be able to charge more, become more in demand, and just be a better designer in general. Now, as the time passes since I've made this video, we have so many new tools for us as designers to make us more powerful and allow us to do things that previously we wouldn't be able to do by ourselves. And that's what I wanna talk about. Now, in the whole kind of discussion about design tools and Sketch versus Figma versus XD, I've been saying all along, I don't really care about the tools, the tools just help you to do the job. All of them basically do the same thing. But recently, I'm actually seeing that Figma has kind of become the the epicenter of a lot of kind of other apps that work with it. So there's kind of an ecosystem that I think now makes it a little bit more valuable. So let me show you these two new apps. So the first app is called Bravo and basically allows you to take your Figma designs and turn them into mobile apps. So apps actually for the app stores, they actually help you publish on both the iOS app store and the Google app store. Now, the way that this works is basically you take your, your Figma files and you name the layer. You basically give the layers names that tells the app, the Bravo app, which component this layer is going to turn into. Now you do that and then you go ahead and you connect your prototype into, you import it into the Bravo app and then you connect it into real data sources. Now you do this uh, using APIs, but if you're not very tech you know, oriented, basically that means you're connected to some sort of a data set, right? Text, images, what kind of data should be inside your app? Now, usually these are things that only developers can do, actually connect real apps, designs with actually databases. But now you can do this because you have other no-code tools like um, Airtable, for example, which allows you basically to create tables and tables is databases at the end of the day. So basically the, um, Bravo allows you to, to connect what used to be your Figma mockup and now is basically an app into real data and then it will actually publish it into, again, APK is the, the file of the um, the Google App Store and also allows you to publish for iOS. Um, and it's really, really cool. I went through this, I'm, I'm actually, I don't design, I don't have a need for a mobile app right now, so I haven't actually tested it myself, but it does look like if you go through the tags um, and see what kind of components you can create with this. So, you know, forms, you know, transitions, all actions to play videos, open URLs. It looks like you can pretty much build a very basic app yourself without the use of any, you know, developer. Now imagine your clients comes to you because they have an idea for an app. Usually what you could have done is design some kind of a prototype for them, maybe even mock up the animations, and then they would take this maybe to investors or maybe to developers to actually build this. Now you can build the first version, usually called in the startup world, MVP stands for minimum viable product. Um, you can actually build that for them yourself and save them a lot of money, a lot of time, therefore, you know, charging more yourself. So I think this is a really, really great and powerful thing. Um, the second one that I saw was FigSide, which basically does the same, but actually turns Figma into websites. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I usually talk a lot about Webflow, which I'm super excited about. And Webflow also allows you to prototype and build website yourself without code. But this is, and, and one of the most common requests has been, how do I actually import, you know, things from Figma or a sketch into Webflow, which is not possible at this point. But now with FigSight, it actually allows you to generate actually code. And you can see even with the free version of this, you can actually export code from your um, Figma files. Now, 
All of this is actually possible because Figma recently launched something that's called Auto Layout, which basically mimics the how in the web world flex boxes work. Now, if you don't understand these concepts of how these layout tool work, auto layout or flexbox, this is something that's really important to understand. Understand how the mental model of these layout tools work because everything that we do nowadays have to be responsive, right? We, the screen sizes change and everything that we build have to be uh, responsive. So we need to understand how these tools work. Um, and they, these concepts come from the development world, but now using tools like auto layout, we can actually experiment with them and see how these things are gonna actually work within our design tools. One thing that I liked about this Bravo is they've called what I call a full stack designer. They called it Bravo designer. And they've put here, do you wanna become a brave designer? And basically they're sharing the same concept here. Now you as a designer, you can fill in all of these roles. You can be the lead designer, the lead developer, the front end and the back end, and the lead marketer. So. I definitely recommend you trying to become that full stack brave designer, whatever you want to call this, learn these tools, learn these new mental models so you can bring more value. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.